Hi guys, my name is Robert Fenanek, I'm from Fedevel Academy and today we are going to speak about how to plan layout. Why do we need to plan layout? Because it will save you a lot of time. Why or how it will save you a lot of time? Because if you plan your layout properly, you will do it right at the first time. If you don't plan your layout, what may very easily happen is you draw something, you may draw it days or even week, and then you need to delete it because it's not good. There is no way how to connect, how to continue in the layout. So that's important. Uh, that's the reason why we plan the layout. For demonstration, I will use this board. It's, uh, it's quite packed board, high density. So it, it's a really good example for this, uh, this video. As you can see on the top, there is processor, there is ethernet, this is ethernet. On the bottom, there are two connectors with quite a lot of pins. Most of these pins are connected to the processor directly or through series resistor or series capacitors. Uh, we can use uh, we can use uh, top layer, we can use bottom layer, we can use layer 3 and layer 10 for our layout. We can also use micro wires, which goes basically from layer 1 to layer 2 and then from layer 2 to layer 3, but I will call it micro wire from layer 1 to layer 3. Same for micro wires from layer 12 to layer 10. And in the middle, we can connect the tracks with buried wire. Buried wire is between L3 and L10. So it's buried inside the PCB. That's why it's called buried wire. It doesn't go on the top, doesn't go on the bottom. Where we are going to start? What do you think? What we are going to do now in the first step? We will start with this Ethernet and processor connection. Why? Do you know why? because there is a lot of tracks. Here, this is the Ethernet. All these signals are connected to the processor. Lot of signals. So the best way to connect these lot of signals is use layer 3. What do you think? Why layer 3? Why use layer 3 for all these? signals because we can use micro wires and we save a lot of space if we go on the layer 3 we don't have to go through whole PCB so we actually work only on these three layers all the other layers are untouched so there will be lot of space we save a lot of space this is our starting point use layer 3 for this ethernet processor ethernet interface i actually prepared something like this here is the processor here is the ethernet here is the connector and as you can see we have here three groups of signals. We need to connect this yellow with this yellow. We need to connect this kind of blue or what is it, I don't know, with this. And these red signals with these red signals. This is not really best position for these resistors because when we connect it like here, it's very hard to go with these signals here on the top. We would need to cross these signals or go around them somehow or around this way. Yeah, if you have a look here, I'll show you. 
these are the um, these are the yellow signals these are the blue signals and here are the red dots you would have to go s this way somehow this way somehow this way it would be much easier if if we move these resistors somewhere here so we can connect it like this and this yeah we go with the yellow like this and red like this much easier that is first step what i would do here move this here and what now what now to make it easier for you i draw all these ethernet signals with uh, this blue color which will represent layer 3 okay so we connect all these ethernet signals on layer 3 hmm. now we can clearly see we have to use layer 10 if you want to go with some signals somewhere here to this connector so you can do it like this oops you can do it like this this but this is not the best way to do it do you know why because soon you may have really trouble to connect pins like this you, you will not be able to cross the signals much easier way to do it is go with these tracks somewhere here and then actually change layer and here you know if you need to connect this pin you can go here if you need to connect this pin you can go from here you can go from any place here and make any order any kind of connection with any pin here you understand for example if i need to go here i can do it like this if I need to go here, I can do it like this. Yeah. If I need to go here, I can go here. If I need to from this pin, if I need to go here, I need I can go here. So you can pick any place here, go to the layer three and connect any pin on this connector this way. yeah of course here will be much more signals okay good what now advantage of this is also if we have some kind of pins here we can actually go here and connect them that's also awesome. but uh, what with these differential signals here are differential signals hmm. how we are going to connect this what do you think what would be the best layer to connect these differential signals have a look here hmm there is actually very nice space to connect them on layer 10 we can actually connect them on layer 10 very easily very easily good this is really good because then we use all the space on layer 10 we use all the space on the layer 3 perfect what next 
how we are going to do layout here in this place this is quite important again because here you have two options how you can connect it I'll show you one option is go here and connect the pins like here okay and you can actually if you need to go between these you can just go between these two signals and here you can pick on layer 10 and connect any pin here so if your pin is here you can go here if your pin is here you can go here and logically if we need to connect something on the bottom if we need to connect this bottom connector if some of the pins from the CPU goes connected to here to the bottom connector we would have to use layer 3 yeah like this so layer 10 for everything what goes up layer 3 for everything what goes down there is one advantage of doing it this way do you know what is the advantage we don't change layer here so we save vias we save a lot of space there is one big disadvantage of this layout what do you think what it is imagine you want to draw track on layer 3 from here to here it's not possible you have to cross a lot of blue tracks imagine you need to draw track on layer 10 from here to here it's not possible you have to cross a lot of tracks so be very careful you can save vias but you will not be able to go between this place you will not have space all layers are occupied the second option what you have is again connect these pins here use wires here and if you have to go down with some tracks just connect it like here this advantage of this lot of wires this is only one thing the other thing is can you actually fan out the processor on layer 3 only no so the best way to do this layout I what I would suggest is actually something like this combination so I would draw if I can like this some of them I would connect here yeah if I need to go down I would connect like here but I would be sure there is a space on one layer at least which I can use then connect any point from here to here so be sure there is a hole on your layers which you can then use to connect these two sides of the PCB that's it if you plan carefully you save a lot of time I hope you like this video you found it useful and uh, see you next time bye bye